Ronald Ross was born May 13, 1857, in Almora, British India. Ross attended medical school in London before returning to India to join the Indian Medical Service. While on leave in 1888, Ross began to study bacteriology. In 1894, Sir Patrick Manson, a pioneering Scottish physician, introduced Ross to malaria research. Upon returning to India in 1895, Ross went to the Bombay Civil Hospital to work with malaria patients. Unfortunately, Ross' experiments were interrupted when he was deployed to a different city to investigate an outbreak of cholera. In June 1897, he was transferred to Secunderabad to continue his malaria research. At the time, no one knew how malaria was transmitted or that the disease was connected to mosquitoes. But in July 1897, after two years of failed research, Ross found malarial parasites inside the guts of dissected mosquitoes. He discovered that the parasite was stored inside the mosquito's salivary gland and released through biting. He was also able to demonstrate the transmission of malaria from infected birds via the mosquito to healthy birds, thus establishing the completed life cycle of the malarial parasite. Once scientists knew about the malarial life cycle, they understood how malaria was transmitted to humans. They could thus develop programs aimed at halting the spread of the disease. For his contributions, Ross became the first Nobel laureate born outside of Europe. In 1926, he founded the Ross Institute and Hospital for Tropical Diseases. Although much work is still to be done, cases of malaria fell by 47% between 2000 and 2015. They continue to decline to this day. Without Ross's work, malaria prevention would be far less sophisticated, and millions of people wouldn't be alive today. For that reason, Ronald Ross is a hero of progress.